for a long time, I've been hearing that the tax rates in the country, they don't really matter, that corporations won't leave if there's higher taxes, that people won't move between states. Remember, this has been an argument from people on the left, from people of the more socialist perspective, that you can just raise tax rates to whatever you want, and people are going to pay it. That's oh, there's really, always going to be a one percent. There's always going. Thank you. That's so interesting that you would bring up the fact that there's always going to be a one percent because I happen to have uh, put that video in the show notes for today. Um, but we've been told this whole time that it doesn't matter what you raise the tax tax rates to. Uh, people are going to pay them. Uh, that they're not going to move. This just isn't going to happen. And from what I can tell, from what I can tell so far people on the left are starting to realize that that is not the case that and actually talking about crafting policy that brings up the fact that this is purely just not the case whatsoever and so janet yellen is out there the treasury secretary used to be fed chair janet yellen is out there calling for a global minimum corporate tax rate now, what's really interesting is why would you need, if tax rates don't affect people moving around, if people don't leave to escape taxes, if it doesn't affect people's economic decisions or where they live or where they base their corporations, then I don't really know why you would be worried about this. But it, there seems to be a fairly big push right now for a global minimum corporate tax rate, and I just don't know why that would be the case. I mean, how can you say Janet Yellen's on the left, though, Nate? She's obviously nonpartisan. Of course, she was a Fed chair. She's, yeah. you know, she she's just an economist. She was part of the Federal Reserve, so she's not partisan at all. Mm. She's totally independent. There's no way. This is Good, good Morning Liberty.